before you start watching this video, please subscribe to us or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You'll be able to do that by clicking the links in the corner that are going to appear in a minute. And also send us videos and pictures for our perusal. You never know, they might make it onto a video. Anyway, enjoy today's beast. Hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk Hold tight. Welcome to today's Plumberparts.co.uk video. My name's Jimmy. <laughs> You might have noticed that we've had a few videos where I wasn't as proud as I am now. It's because I've been here for three weeks. How's it going, Julian? We got you on camera. Hold tight. Taking these folks down to Kensington Oval. Yeah. To watch Best Indies Box in Welcome to today's <laughs> Plumber Hearts Ask the Plumber video uh, from Barbados. <laughs> yeah, we've got a leak on the boat. Nah, we're alright. We're in Barbados at the moment. We're about to go to the Kensington Oval and to avoid the traffic, made friends with my man Julian here. How's it going, Julian? Good, So there we go, we had three weeks in Barbados. You might have noticed that our videos were going out as well. We made a load of videos, so stacking them as we went out. We're even still going on Facebook and Twitter. So I'll tell you why, it's because we left the tabby beast, Big G, in control of the ranch. As you can see here, we're sitting in the head honcho's chair. I agree now, that chair is very furry. So anyway, we've got three weeks worth of pretty much photos, questions and bits and bobs for us to go through. So here we go, let's start off with question numero uno. We've got Scott Daimlo. Hi mate, I was wondering if you could help. I've had to look through all your videos, but I can't find anything. Basically, he's replaced a flow pipe on his system and the pressure has gone through the roof. Through the roof! Is there any way I can reduce the pressure just before the boiler, or does it have to be when the feed comes in? Mate, easy peasy buy yourself what's called a PRV, a pressure reducing valve, or a pressure regulating valve, depending on whether you like to use your fork in your left hand or your fork in your right hand. They can be adjusted to set the pressure to anything you like. You can get them in 22 mil and 15 mil, and they're in pretty much all the plumbing supplies in the UK. So go there, stick it on wherever you want it, mate, and that will reduce the pressure to what you want it to be. Oh, and before I carry on, there were some videos that we've done over the past few days. Oh, there's one there. Oh, there's one there. <sighs> There's one here as well. Click on any of them and there'll be our usual instructional videos and not the completely insane banter that we're doing right now. Where is George? Where is George? Oh yeah, I noticed some of you like my Lego weight scales beast. Ross Billyard sent us a photo over of some uh, Rothenberger gear, uh, looking like a Rothenberger Superfire 2, torch and map gas, 15mm pipe slayers, solder tool and bag, £91.99. Mate, I've got a feeling that if you go to a plumbing supplies, you might be able to get that a little bit cheaper, but if you get it like that, it's still a pretty decent bargain to be going on with, especially if you're starting out as a plumber. So a good place to start, mate, and a good question. Thanks very much for that. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to move into the plumbing headlines. Here we go. Lee McKee found some pretty bad pipe work. Oh my God. Tony Knight or Knight found a radiator that was trying to get down the stairs. Alessio Rorusso found a hot water tank that was basically had enough. Brendan Shepherd came across some poor pipe work. Lewis Havel was nearly blown to pieces by this gas meter. Correspondent Damien Bradshaw found some of the worst plumbing in a loft that I've ever seen. Thanks very much for that, Damien. Danny Williams wanted to know where the solder goes brittle over the years. Don't know, mate. <laughs> Seriously, the only thing I know that goes wrong with solder is you can sometimes get dry joints, and that's actually not it going brittle, well, that's poor soldering at the start, but sometimes they just don't leak and they don't even come off until years later when they just fall off. 
So, I'm um, not really sure if Solder goes for it or not. I'll have a look online and see if I can find that one out for you. Jess Lucas was also near blown to pieces by a gas pipe. Josh Hibbert took a photo of a radiator that will never work. Murray Price is scared of heights when it comes to bleeding this radiator. Daniel White found some lovely straight pipe. To be honest, I don't even know what Philip McGowan's found, but it's pretty mental. Brendan O'Keefe is going to have to take up the worst trade in the world and do a little bit of chippy work. I'm only bantering, yeah? I know how tetchy you carpenters get about all that sort of stuff. Now, get out your van, stop eating your sandwiches and do some work. Rob Parlane found a floating radiator. Damien Kelly found a bad radiator, but also some astroturf as a flaw in the loo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ian, but we can't show that sort of thing on... Oh, whatever. Ian, we all hate your idols as well. Robert Adams found what looked like the lower areas of a Fernox TF1 filter sticking out of the ceiling. Fantastic install that, Robbo. Ben Sharkcatcher found what looks like a pretty poor bit of basin waste pipework. Yusuf Dieter also found some pretty bad waste pipework under a kitchen sink. Lovely uphill runs there, Yusuf. And Chris Bush found one of the funniest ones that I've seen this week or the last few weeks. Uh, repair taps and toilet. When the toilet flushes, it makes a loud noise throughout the house. I have bled the radiators and still no joy, thinking it was an airlock. <sighs> Wicked! Chris R. Frank found a pretty bad photo of an incredibly dangerous Baxi boiler. I hope you've contacted that guy, mate, and got that thing switched off and properly sorted out. Danny Wu Little came back and found a pretty manic bit of outside soil pipe. And also, whoever did it didn't use a core bit and just spashed the whole wall out. Great work there, Danny! Scott Pelling found a tap washer that says hold tight on it, which is funny because that's our catchphrase. Cheers for that, Scott -o! And Sam Chelsea Hart finishes off proceedings today by finding what looks like a bath trap underneath the sink. Darren Class sent us through a video of a boiler that about a million plumbers have had a look at and couldn't find out what's wrong. Most of them say that there's a problem with air in the system. I'd say your best bet is to very carefully uh, get a nice long screwdriver, press that up against different parts of the boiler and have a listen. Because that doesn't sound like air to me on this video. It sounds more like that you've got a little rattle going on somewhere, like a, like a, a sensing pin or something like that that's going like that, moving around really, really high speed. Do that first and you can probably find that and isolate what part of the boiler is making the most noise, change or adjust it and you'll probably get rid of the problem that way. But without being there, especially since I think you're in Canada, um, that it's going to be quite difficult for us to come over. Unless, of course, you want to play for flights and accommodation. You know what I mean? Let me know. Jamie Jones asked us as well, he said, Hi Pond Parts, could you possibly do a video on the tools you carry in a toolbox and bag on a daily basis? Tell you what, Jamie, we will do a video of that for you, mate. It'll be nice and light-hearted and happy. Also, hopefully, it will feature a special massive box that we've got. We've got two big tote bags from a company called Vito Pro Pack. We've been giving them a test run. We're going to use them to clear the van up a little bit so you have a good look at them at the same time. Also, we've got videos coming up about ACV's tank in tank technology, which is like a chlorifier. Uh, we've got one of them installed up in the loft at Plum Parts HQ. We've been running it for a few weeks now to see what the pickup times for heating are, whether they're different, and blah, 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 blah. And I've got to say, it's insanely better than the old sort of coil type tank you get because obviously you've got a larger heat exchange area, heats up a lot quicker and also you've got less of a chance for scale to build up. So they're really, really good. Uh, we're going to do a video of them. Also, our friends at Wilo have sent us out a pump. Uh, we're going to whack one of them pumps in as well, show you how easy they are to change over, how they work, how easy they are to set up and also a very nice little function they've got for when you drain the system down. They've got like a de-airing function. So you don't have to jockey the pump like you're used to. That actually do it itself for about 10 minutes and then you can set it up to what it wants to be once it's fully purged. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you subscribe to our video. That's the most important thing. Subscribe, otherwise you'll never get any more of this fun and you'll never see some of our instructional videos. Uh, obviously, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Also, that's a great place for you to send us your videos and your pictures of all the plumbing disasters you've come across and also some of your questions. We sometimes don't get around to answering everyone's questions because there's so many, but if we do, consider yourself completely amazing. Uh, another thing, the Plumbing Olympics is still ticking over. Um, anyway, until next time, until our next video, remember everyone, what are you going to do? Actually, let's just go to Barbados. I'm just going to go there, I'm going to say hold tight now, and enjoy this lovely view of Barbados. See you in our next video, everyone. Hold tight! Into the he's forward and drives back to hold. Foxy on the to throw. The boundary and also that is that and the club the England captain Alistair Cook.
reaching up 100 rands a seat. Yeah, the steel band's coming. <laughs> How many hours of footage do you reckon you've taken? I'd say... Probably about four hours, three... Yeah, in fact, over three full-on days. But also, we realised that we we haven't really had many days. We've not done anything.